I'm back again with Adriana. We had started working on the acne condition that she has that pops up every now and then. And I'm excited to do this for her because I released it for myself. Now I have random ones that show up once in a while, but not like before. I used to just have it all over on, the, on one side of my face. <laughs> anyway, um, so we worked on this with body code, but body code brought us to belief code. So we had to end our last recording short because we never know how long a belief code is going to take. And um, we're going to do that here today. So Adriana, um, how are you feeling with all of this? Good. I feel really like light overall, just kind of feel like there was a weight that I didn't know that was there that has been lifted. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah. And that's, that's all, that's always great when you can just feel that, you know, and, and sometimes like even with, um, we did the heart, we did your heart wall, right? Mm -hmm. I, when, I when I released the heart wall, which is all through like emotion code is that, you know, like I don't just go into fear anymore. I can have things pop up that, you know, normally might have set me off or triggered me a bit more. And I was like, eh, okay, we'll just deal with it. You know what I mean? But I didn't notice that immediately. It kind of took some time to start feeling the differences of that energy having left. So it's kind of the same thing with um, these things. Sometimes with body code, you notice it right away. You might have to hit it from a different angle. But we never finished our body code because now the belief code popped in. And those, you can feel light from that and feel really good. Um, but sometimes it takes a little time to see how the effect of it in your day-to-day -day life. So mm -hmm. we take it, whatever it is, we release the energy and we allow the body to do its healing. And then we move on from there and just see. And I like to just be um, surprised and delighted kind of thing of what might pop up, you know, mm -hmm. keeping that good optimism there. So let's see, I'm going to share my screen. All right. And let's get down to where we were. Right, so we did, you know, we cleared all these different things. Well, hold on. Yeah, we had some broadcast messages, you know, the diurnal cycle, trapped emotions, will twos, broadcast messages, toxins that we release, uh, physical emotional shock, idea allergies, you know, because it's really a lot, it's all energy. But like not too much of the body stuff came in on you so far with that. Uh, except for like maybe getting rid of the toxins. Um, I think we reset. Yeah, we reset the skin in tegmentary. Uh, we did, there was some reproductive scent. Okay. Another will. We reset the aura. There was the liver meridian, which directly tied into that diurnal cycle. Despair anchor, which is like a single belief. Physical allergy, we did. And uh, trapped emotions, toxins, physically emotional shock, which brought you to a breakup at age 23. Okay, so that brings us to where we are now, whereas the body, the belief code popped into our body code session, and it happens many times because if there's beliefs connected to it, we have to get those too. And we did determine that you have a partial system, and we know that that system. Uh, is it a structured system? No, it's, ran, it's a, a bunch of random beliefs. And the way we look at a partial system is if you've done work on yourself before, and it could be you know energy healing, but it's different work on things to do with whatever this issue is, especially with, <clears throat> excuse me, with beliefs, because I used to do a lot of belief work when I did theta healing. For myself, I'll find a lot of these partial systems uh, that are like random leftover beliefs. It's like I took out the tree and the, you know, the, the, the whole structure down to the soil left this big hole, but there were a bunch of, uh, well, we never leave the hole because we fill it with a positive belief or we do that defragging thing, but you might have twigs and branches and logs left over that didn't get pulled out with that whole system. So for me, I found from the belief work I did earlier, I had a lot of these partial things left over. And, you know, you've probably done different things. I've done energy work with you before where some things maybe just weren't all taken out. So that's what we're going to find now. Some random beliefs that aren't connected to any, um, no longer connected to any full system. They're just like leftover beliefs. So we're going to take us, there could be like only a few or they could be a lot. <laughs> I've had them from when they were, where they're only like five, six, seven, up to one time I had, I think it was like 37 beliefs left over on a topic and there's probably like finances or something because that's a big topic right <laughs> yeah. um so anyway i don't remember exactly what it was 
So we'll just see what comes up, you know? We'll let the universe surprise and delight us here. So we'll take a moment of silence just to call in those energies, you know, God, angels, guides, to work with us, work through us to facilitate this healing. And I want to make sure I can test as Adriana, which, yep, Adriana, Linda, no, Adriana. So we're good to go. So let's find the first belief. Will it be here to the right, no, to the left? Divine. So we're in the divine area. Uh, right side, forgiveness, higher self. I don't remember going here with you before, divine, higher self. I don't think we have. This is new. Okay, so higher self, negatives. All right, so is it one note section two, nine of those? Are we looking at an odd and even? So is it two, four, six, eight? Eight is my religion dictates exactly how I will live. All right. Exactly, I think is the key word, how I will live. So it doesn't, there's no like wiggle room there. I don't know. My religion dictates. So we'll see what that's all about. Okay. Is there anything we need to know specifically about that one? No. So we can go find the next one. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, I guess sometimes people can be restricted by what they think maybe their religion wants from them or whatever, right? And so the, you can't then just make this connection to God bypassing any religious aspect and find your solutions that way. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But, okay, so what's I feel sense. like growing up in the Catholic Church, I have, now that I'm removed from it, um, I uh, have, there's a lot, there's a lot of reasons why I don't practice or believe in Catholicism, but I do believe in spiritualness and that there's a higher power and all that. But I never call it God because whenever I say God, it reminds me of the Catholic religion. And I, I don't like the um, association with it. So I, I never refer to it as that so that's interesting i wonder if that's why that's like where it's coming from yeah maybe so and i'm getting goosebumps on this because i resonate with it because i'm gonna tell you uh, yeah, i grew up same way as you and uh, i was pushed down my throat and it just made me want to be further away from it right mm -hmm. because i couldn't buy into all the rules and all that stuff right now yes. i can get it totally differently and it's a choice and everybody's allowed to do what they want to do but i couldn't even say the word god for i don't know how long not until I started doing this kind of work and and not even in the beginning. It took a while for me to be comfortable with that word and to have my own understanding of what that was. And it doesn't matter when in, anything outside of that is. You know what I mean? So now I could totally say that I can connect to that energy because I know that energy would be an energy that is not dictated by a religion. Right. Right. So I, I totally get where you're coming from. Um so yeah, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, universe. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's probably has a lot to do. Let's just ask. Is that pretty much what this thing is all about? That, that this belief that just came up? Yes, we're getting a yes on that. That's why it's there. Okay, so something more. Uh, right, left, divine, insight, communication. Okay. Communication. Uh, right side, all right. Awareness. Okay. Whoops. We did that. Awareness. All right. What are we going to have here? Negative statements. Uh, one, two, section three. Eight of those. Is it on even two? I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what that means in the, the whole big picture. It's kind of funny to me. I don't care. All right. So anything we need to know about that? No. All right. Let's find out what's, what else. It, you'll maybe tell the story after a while, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, something else. So is it to the right, to the left, divine insight? Okay. We're bouncing around a little bit here. Right side, boundaries, insight and boundaries. Oh, boundaries are the number one thing I work on with my therapist. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yes. Struggled with them for a long time. <laughs> Section two. Okay, we got nine of those uh, odds. All right, so is it one, three, five, seven, nine of no, seven? 
If I set boundaries, I'll offend others. Sounds familiar. Okay. All right, so we want to release that one, right? Well, I feel a lot of energy moving. Okay, so we have, do we have another one? Yes. Let's find it. Uh, something to the right, to the left. Okay, so divine insight communication coming up again here. Okay, right, left, authority, communication, authority. Negative. Oh, there's only one section in here. Okay. Is it odd? Uh, it's even. So is it two, four, six, eight, ten, eight? Uh, I need to obey authority no matter what. Hmm. Well, you know, that could have been born out of feeling like you have to do what the religion tells you kind of a thing, you know? Yeah. I need to obey authority. I don't need to know anything about them. All right, is there something else? Yeah, okay. Since they're one off, I'm just asking if we need to know anything about them as we get to them. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Um, all right, something more. To the right, to the left, divine insight. Okay, third eye, right side, boundaries, education, intuition, recovery. Insight. There's my boy. Making some noise. Recovery. <laughs> Steel stock. You could probably hear him. All right. So we look in here. Is it going to be in section one, two? So section one, seven, uh, odds, evens, two, four, six. I'll never be healthy. Oh, well, let's get rid of that. Hmm. We don't need your face to break out because of this belief here. Never be healthy. Anything we need to know about that? Okay, so another one. Yep, we got another one. Uh, to the right, to the left, right side, no, left side, divine. Uh, right side, divine forgiveness. Where is it? There. Okay. Negative statements. Uh, one, two, section two. Seven. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five? Uh, they don't deserve. They don't deserve to be forgiven. Now remember, you know it. It is subconscious stuff, so you may not have like a real awareness of what that might be, or you, or something might hit you, and uh, we could always test it. We don't need to. So do we have something more? Yeah. All right. So another one. Uh, right, left, divine, insight, communication, love. Okay. All right, left, feelings, family, parents, self. Negatives. Uh, one, two, section three. Is it odd? It's even. So it's two. Four, six, eight, ten, eight. I'm not allowed to be happy. Hmm. I did. I worked on something for myself the other day. I don't remember what it was, but I had a lot of stuff coming in like that. I'm like, but I'm happy. Really? What is this? All about? <laughs> yeah, I had like, I had like a bunch of stuff come in with that. I'm like, okay, I trust whatever you know. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. So I'm not allowed to be happy. Yeah, it's weird. You never know it's going to come up. Okay, do we have something more? Yeah. Okay, right. No, left. Uh, divine. Okay. Right side, left side. Faith, God. Divine and God. Negative statements. One, two, section three. Whoops, that's four. Let me get rid of four. Ten of them. So is it odds? Okay, so is it one? Three, five, seven, nine, seven. Uh, I am less favored by God. Probably the word God you might want here, not like the universe, because you have <laughs> that energy towards sort of like towards rejecting the God quote word. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So if there's something more, yeah, let's find it. All right, on the left, communication. On the right side, ego, communication, ego. Thank you. Spell check. Okay. Negative statements for, is it section one, two, three, section four? Okay, nine odds. Okay, one, three, five, seven, nine, seven. I'm not perfect. I'm not love. Oh, if I'm not perfect, I'm not love. Okay, so however, however that plays out, anything you know about it? No? Uh, something more? Yes. Okay, uh, to the right, to the left, divine, insight, communication, love. Uh, right side, children, others, partner, no responsibility. Negative statements. One, two, three. Nine of them. Odd. One, one. I'm a fraud. <laughs> I've had that one before. I don't know what I was working on, but I, I'm a fraud. Okay. <laughs> It's in there somewhere, you know? Yep. Yeah. Maybe once, you know, who knows how it comes about. Yeah. We don't have to try and figure it out. Anything you know? No. Okay. Is there another belief within this system? Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the left, on the right, power, passion, survival, and right side, control, survival control. Negatives. Uh, one, two, three, four, section four. Ten of them, odds, odds, evens, odds. So is it one, three, five, seven, nine? We're looking at nine. I can't let go of with a blank. Anything come to mind? No. Okay. Uh, so we know we're talking about the, the acne that reoccurs, right? So mm -hmm. it's simply, I can't let go of this condition with my skin. Maybe. Let's test it. Can we use that? Well, okay. Okay. Is this, I'm going to ask a few questions. Before we ask. That's probably what it is, but is this, I can't let go of like, a situation or something that happened with another person. No, you know, that's the kind of thing, right? Uh, is it you can't let go of something where you feel like you failed in some time? No. Is it that you can't let go of this condition that we're working on right now? Yeah, so that's what it is. Hmm. I'm going to say this condition with acne, right? Can't let go of it. Too hard. I've tried so many times. It keeps coming back. You know, like that kind of stuff playing, right? Mm. So, yeah, we have something else. Uh, right side, power. Okay. Solar plexus. Right side again, change. I would change two. Okay. Nine of them. So is it on? even so is it two four six eight i fear change okay things seem to go along right you can't let go of this you fear the change so you got to keep it how it is or you know whatever it's like all kind. we're trying to make it make sense with our logical mind it doesn't have to make any sense at all but it's kind of nice when you think of a story because right now we have uh, i fear change i can't let go of this condition with acne i'm a fraud if i'm not perfect I'm not loved. Uh, I am less favored by God. I'm not allowed to be happy. They don't deserve to be forgiven. I'll never be healthy. I need to obey authority no matter what. And that could go back to that religion thing, right? Uh, if I set boundaries, I'll offend others. I don't care. My religion dictates exactly how I live. So there. <laughs> I feel like it's there's like a little bit of a theme but yeah it doesn't exactly all yeah, make sense it doesn't exactly all make sense but you can see how some of these things kind of associate in some way to each other okay right. 
But don't forget, they're partial belief systems, so they've come from different things. Mm. That are that energy is creating this continuation of the, these breakouts, right? Because you've had it come and go. Yeah. Okay. Is there another belief within this partial system? Yes. Okay. Uh, this time, is it on the left? No, it's on the right. So it's power, passion, survival. Uh, right, no, left, codependency, sabotage, victim. So we have survival, victim. Seven sections. Is it odd? Even, two, four. So it's section six. Ten of those, odd, even, two, four, six, eight, ten. So it's eight. Others are never there for me. Oh, that came up once before. In in um, I guess I was one doing belief code with the business, maybe, right? Yeah. No, this is never there for me. Okay, so it's it's that type of energy, but it'll be a different belief connected to something else. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps on that one too. Okay, is there something else? Is there more? Yeah. All right, let's find it. Uh, right? No. Left. Divine insight communication back to love. Okay, right side, left side, no, right side, children, others, partner, responsibility. Negatives, uh, one, two, three, section three, nine, is it odd, it's even two, now we're at two. Uh, it's hard to have integrity, okay. Hard to have integrity. Anything we need to know about that one? No. Okay. Anything we need to know about any of these beliefs that have come up here? No. Is there another one? Yes. There's another one. All right. So we're just getting a bunch of random energies that are affecting, causing, aiding the condition. Okay. So let's find this next one. Right side, power, solar plexus. Right again, change, effort, growth, strength, power, strength. Negatives, seven, odd, even, two, section two, eight, is it odd, even, so is it two, four, six, it is eight. Uh, I am unable to change anything. Hmm. Remember, we're looking at the acne now, right? I am unable to change anything. Is there another belief? There is. All right, we've got a bunch of beliefs. And I remember that one time I had 37 of them. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Okay, are we looking to the right? We are. Now we're, oh, passion. Now we're on passion. We haven't hit that one yet today. Uh, right, left, choices, financial, sexuality, trust. Passion, trust. Negatives. One, two, and three. Uh, odds. One, three, five seven, nine, no one will ever trust me again. Okay, so wherever that came from, uh, anything we need to know about it? No, nope. okay, another one, yes. Uh, right side, power, passion, survival, right again. So is it control, safety, worth, survival and worth? All right, so is it one, two, three, four, five, six, section six? Eight of those odds. One, three, five, seven, seven. Uh, I'm not needed. Well, now we're pulling these things up to do with the acne, right? But we just want them gone because we don't know if it's affecting other areas, if the same energy could be affecting other areas. Um, okay, so is there anything we need to know about that? Is there something more? Yeah, another belief here. Okay. Uh, right, left, divine. Right side, left side, faith, God, 
purpose, divine purpose. purpose. So this newest bout of the breakout, is this uh, recent, has been going on for a couple of years, like it? This, it's probably been almost two years since I had a bad bout of it, like I'm having right now. Okay. So you went maybe two years without that, but this current one is what, just recently or it's been a little while? A couple months. It was, I would say it was at its worst, probably like a week or two ago. Um, And it was like slowly building up probably over like two months before that. Okay. All right. So we have divine purpose here. I'm just asking because I'm curious to see what comes up here. And I was just bringing up more energy around it. So divine Mm -hmm. purpose. Uh, one, two, three, ten of those. Is it odds? Even so, it's odds. It's one, three, five, seven, nine, seven. Uh, my life has no purpose. Yeah, because I was just wondering, because now that you're really putting yourself out there in, into the world in a bigger way on video, speaking with people, right? Yeah. Or or hopefully in person, right? As you grow what you're doing, um, you know, sometimes that could be something trying to, we tend to not want to be seen so much. We want to cover it up, right? Mm-hmm. It'd be an energy that's kind of like pulling you back from actually moving forward. Like we, the first thing we worked on was your business and really getting out there. They could, they're probably related in some way. Most yeah. Okay. Well, in the last two months, I had three videos that went really viral. Two of them have half a million views, if not more. And with that comes, you know, the negative comments and that kind of thing. Um, and it's hard. And something that I've been trying to like work on myself is the more the more people that see my things, there's always going to be people who have some sort of negative feedback. And I have to remember that that's not personal to me and that that person obviously has their own issues going on, that they're taking time out of their day to try and attack me for no reason. Um, But I think it's, it makes me a little scared that like, what if I am on TV one day and then it's like the critics times a million, you know, and it's, I'm like developing a thick skin, but it's hard. And then I have to remind myself, like, it's not personal. It's, it comes with the territory and like, I can get through it. It's, I have to get over it. So it could, you know, it could be related to being seen. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. The other thing too, though, is about those, those, some people thrive on throwing negative negativity out there. The, The best thing to do is just send them love. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you read one of those, like, oh, that, let me just send that one love. That one really needs some love. And and the, the more you stay in that energy of love, that other stuff can't get in. Mm-hmm. It's like when you release the energy. I, I, I think of it as sending it to the light, right? Because the negative energy cannot live when the light. That's why when light is sh- shining on something, the truth will come out, right? Mm-hmm. So um, the more light you send to the haters, <laughs> to the negative people, <laughs> Not only does it help them, it just doesn't get into you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a great way to just shift the energy on that and and just remind yourself, oh, just sending that person love. I don't know what's going on in their life. Mm-hmm. You know, I might sympathize with them if I knew everything going on in their life. Some people are just right. assholes. I'm just going to send yeah. you love. <laughs> Whatever your situation is, I'm sending you love because I'm coming from my heart and that's all I do in my business. I speak Mm -hmm. about, you know, in your case, the Giants and everything to probably more than just the Giants, right? To do with football and all that. There's a love there. So you're going to hold on to that. It'll just fall off. You know? Okay. So something more. There it is. There's another one. Okay. (laughs) So uh, is it on the right? It's on the left. Divine insight. Okay, we got a capital there when we don't need one, but that's okay. 
the to the right to the left body defect illness pain insight and pain uh, one section two okay six of them is it one two three four five six five uh, this pain is too much for me okay we gotta fix that thing all right so we have this pain is too much for me do we have another belief within this no okay so we got all of the beliefs within this partial system yes we do okay let me put my glasses on for a second here um I'm just gonna put a space between each one. Hey. Hey there, doggy. <laughs> okay. Hey, what are you barking at? Oh, it's okay. Because we're going to see if we need to replace. First, we're going to do the you know associations, but we're going to see if we need to replace any. Just making sure that. So, what did we have here? We had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen of those. Okay, are there associations? Yes, there are. Okay, do we start with trapped emotions? Yeah, I usually it's trapped emotions. All right, you ready for this? We're going yes. to the emotion code chart. All right, so trapped emotions to do with all of these different beliefs that came up around the acne that is uh, coming and going. So uh, is the first one A, it's B, odds, evens, two. So B2. Is it failure, helplessness, hopelessness, lack of control, low self-esteem? All right. Do we need to decode anything about how this came about? And like what, you know, anything we need to know about it? No. So we can just release it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to swipe away for the um, low self-esteem. One. Ah, uh, yep. Two. Okay, and three. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you, spirit. I'll say spirit. Okay, released. Oops. Angels, guides, all of that good stuff. Okay, we have another trapped emotion. Yes. Oops. Okay, A. Odds, uh, one, three, five, A, five. And is it blaming, dread, fear, horror, peeved? <laughs> Must have been one of those haters. <laughs> okay, so is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm just curious. Is it, are there, could you tell by the name if they're females or males, like some of these haters? Um, some of them, yes. Some of them, they're just accounts with random numbers and no face. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's funny because I had this one that I, I thought it was a woman's account. And she, the comment that she wrote in my DM was, turn off the filters. You don't know nothing about football. And I wrote something nice back. And I said, maybe you should spend your time being uh, like, maybe you should spend your time not trying to tear down women for doing what they love. And then they wrote something, I don't know, something else back. And I responded nicely. And then um, out of nowhere, the person just wrote back ugly ass ho. And I'm like, that doesn't even hurt my feelings because it's so stupid. So then I blocked them, but I thought it was a woman based on the account, but I think most women don't speak like that. So I think it was a man. Some people might speak that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was so bizarre. <laughs> you know, I would, I would think that it might be more of uh, women who would send the, the negative derogatory remarks because you're a pretty girl talking about a male, mostly male kind of a thing, right? 
they might not be okay with that. Whereas I think men probably love that. Oh, look at yeah. this girl all right oh she knows what she's talking about oh cool right i have i i have probably gotten more marriage proposals than i have hating from the men <laughs> yeah yeah so it's pro- yeah so anyway um just something to consider right there you go yeah. so all right so trapped emotion we have another one is it in a it's in b on one okay effort on receipt heartache Insecurity, overjoy, vulnerability. Okay. Well, we're not going to be vulnerable to those haters. Okay. Um, anything we need to know about? It? No. Okay. So we're just going to release vulnerability. Oh, I, I don't even think I released the peep. Did I release peep? No. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's just release now vulnerability. Yeah. One, okay, two, three, thank you. Okay, so we got them. All right. Let's release. Next one. This one's released too. Okay, do we have another trapped emotion? We do. Okay. Where is it? Is it in A? It's in B on one. Three, five, one, three, five. Okay, B five. Is it conflict, creative insecurity? Okay, good one to get rid of. Okay, do we need to know details around this? Anything to decode here? No. Okay, so let's release it. Okay, one, two. Oh, okay, Woo. three. Release. Ooh, I felt a little lightheaded on that one. All right, cool. Love it. Yeah. And it's another great thing to get rid of, right? Mm-hmm. Always the creative insecurity. I love when that one pops up for people because we want to get rid of that energy. So yeah. do we have another trapped emotion. Yes, we do. Especially when you're creating something new for you, right? All right. So another trapped emotion. So is it A, B? On evens to B2, failure, helplessness, hopelessness. A little bit of hopelessness. Hmm. Oh my God. There we go. All right. So, is there something we need to decode around this one? No, we can just release it. Okay. One. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Two. Okay. That one felt like a big release in my in my chest. Okay, release. Right, like a weight lifted. <laughs> Six. Uh, something more. Trapped emotion. Uh, is it in A? Okay, so A on evens. Two. A2. Anxiety. Despair. <laughs> disgust. Nervousness. Worry. All right, let's get rid of that worry trapped energy. Do we need to know what this, where, how this came about? Anything we need to know? No, we can release it. Yes. Okay. One. Okay. Two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the sh- shakes on that. Okay. So, all right, good. That's released. All right. Is there another trapped emotion? Another trap? No. Is there another association? Okay. So we need to go to the body code. All right. So we got all the trapped emotions. Now we're going to see whether it's energies or something else within the body code to do with this belief system before we eventually go back to the body code. And a lot of times when I've had these beliefs come up in a body code session, usually there's nothing left after I get rid of the beliefs on it, but we won't know until we get there. So we have here something to the right, something to the left in energy, uh, side, left side, post-traumatic offensive mental area. Not the right, it's the left, no will to. Oh, and no will to. No will to something. I don't want to put any words out there. Okay, seven of them. Um, so are we looking in A? No, B. Odds is it one, three, five, seven? No will to 
improve, no, be with others, be well, no will to be well. Okay. That could hold up the relief of the acne. Uh, is there another association? Okay, body code. Yeah, something more. Uh, to the right, no, to the left. So energy again, right, left, post-traumatic, sensitive, mental, right side, memory field. Okay. Oh, that's new. So memory field is like, like a like a cloud of energy that follows you everywhere. Just it's just hanging. And it's a memory of something. Now, let's see if we need to know what this memory is. Do we need to know any details regarding the memory field, specifics about this particular memory field? No, we don't need to know. So we can just release it. Now, if something came to your mind for some reason, just popped in, your intuition sent it to you, I can test it. I got nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we can release this stuff. Yeah. So whatever the memory field is, we're going to release it. Now, could it just be the memory field of the different times when it broke out and the upset you had around it? Could be, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't need to know. So we're not even going to test it. All right. One, two, just letting that go. Three. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, God. Guys, angels, everybody. All right. Good. A whole lot of love there. Right, so that's released. That's gone. Yes. Is there something else? No. Okay. So we got all the trapped emotions and we got everything else we could find in the body code. Is there anything else associated? No. So we had all those trapped emotions. Now we had no will to be well and a memory field, which is probably, so is the memory field, memory field, memory around this kind of a breakout. Yeah. So that's what it was about, right? All right. So now we go back up to all of these beliefs and I want to pull them all. But before I pull each of these, is there anything we need to know about any of these individual um, beliefs? Anything we have to decode around them? No. So we can pull them all. All right. So I'm just going to keep going one by one and pulling them out. And I'm just going to keep, you know, just constantly doing this. So let's go to the beginning here. All right. So um, let's pull this belief that my religion dictates exactly how I will live. So in all these cases, we're pulling them out, we're sending them to the light, we're letting them go, we're deleting them, you know, just ridding them from your whole field, from everything about you. Now we're just going to go down the line, and that's the intention for every one of them. So now let's release this next one. I don't care, right? Just letting it go. Letting it go. The next one, if I set boundaries, I will offend others. So let's just, oh, yeah, let that go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> feels good. Okay, and now um, I'll never be healthy, right? Pulling it, letting it go, giving it to the light. Just pulling all of these beliefs. Um, they don't deserve to be forgiven. Okay, so whatever that's about, letting it go. No longer the effect of any of these beliefs. Uh, I am not allowed to be happy. Pulling it, deleting it, sending it to the light. Uh, I am less favored by God. No. Not true. Letting it go. Getting rid of that. Okay. Um, if I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. Okay, so we're pulling that one. Releasing it. Letting it go. I'm a fraud. Okay, let's get rid of I'm a fraud. Pull that one. Good. How about I can't let go of this condition with acne. Yeah, well, that's totally dissolve that one away Just sending so much light releasing all of these um where are we okay i fear change let's pull it release it open you up to be able to have that change okay uh others are never there for me let's take that one and that to the light thank you thank you thank you just releasing all of these um, it's hard to have integrity. Yep. Letting it go. Letting it go. Okay, good. How about I am unable to change anything? Yeah, don't want that energy hanging around. Deleting that forever more. Thank you. Woo. Okay. Uh, no one will ever trust me again. 
Getting rid of that one, freeing you up, letting it go, filling you with light as we do. Um, what was that? No one will ever trust me again. Okay. Now we're doing I am not needed. Pulling that, sending that to the light, letting it go. Okay, good. And uh, my life has no purpose. <sighs> Send it to the light, let it go. And this pain is too much for me. Yeah, let's take it away. Let it go. We're leading it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, so we've got those. Yeah, so I'm just going to go down the line. I'm going to ask each one and see if it's still true for you. In case I missed one, because I, I was getting pretty um, out there in the energy. <laughs> The greatest high in the world. Okay, so now, are any of these statements true for you? My religion dictates exactly how I will live. No, I don't care. No. If I set boundaries, I will offend others. Uh, I need to obey authority no matter what. Okay, I'll never be healthy. They don't deserve to be forgiven. I am not allowed to be happy. I'm less favored by God. Uh, if I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. I'm a fraud. I can't let go of this condition with acne. I fear change. Others are never there for me. It's hard to have integrity. I'm unable to change anything, okay? No one will ever trust me again. Uh, I am not needed. My life has no purpose, and the pain is too much for me. All right, so good. It's all been pulled out. Goodbye. Gone. <laughs> Great. Right? But now. Are there any of these beliefs that to be replaced? Okay, so something will need to be replaced here. It could be a bunch. It could be only a few. So we'll start from the top. Do we need to replace? My religion dictates exactly how I will live. No. Do we need to replace? I don't care. Okay. How about if I set boundaries, I will offend others. Okay. Uh, I need to obey authority no matter what. I'll never be healthy. No. They don't deserve to be forgiven. No. All right, do I have to replace, I am not allowed to be happy? How about I am less favored by God? Okay, we're going we're gonna to do that one. Okay, so let's replace that. All right, so replacement is here on the charts. Yeah, uh, right side, left side, divine. To the right, to the left, faith, God. So we're looking in divine God. for this replacement. Positive statements. One, two, three, section three. Ten of them. Is it odd? It's even. So is it two, four, six, eight, ten, eight. Uh, I connect with God at will. There you go. Where is that? There it is. I connect with God at will. Let me expand this. And make that full. All right. So I'm less favored by God. No, I connect with God at will. If you don't want to use the God word, spirit, universe, source, right? Okay. Okay, now, do we need to replace? Are there any more that we need to replace? Yes. Okay, so do we need to replace if I'm not perfect, I'm not loved? No. How about I am a fraud? No. Uh, I can't let go of this condition with acne. Don't have to replace it. I fear change, okay? Others are never there for me. It's hard to have integrity. I'm unable to change anything. No one will ever trust me again. I'm not needed. My life has no purpose. All right, let's do that one. Okay, where are we gonna find this one? Let me just make this bold before I take this away. Okay. So what are we replacing this with? My life has no purpose. Right side, left side, divine, insight, communication, love. Love, the replacement is in love. Okay, uh, to the right, no, to the left. Feelings, family, parents, self. Okay, positive statements. One, two, three, four, so three. 10 of those odds, evens, okay, two, 
four, six, eight, ten. I deserve happiness. Okay. I do that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I deserve happiness. All right. So that's the replacement for my life has no purpose. I deserve happiness. Let's do it. Okay. So we're going to, oh wait, I didn't even put the other one in you yet. All right. So you know we'll do them together. Let me just see if we need to do this one. Um, do we need to replace the pain is too much for me? We have to replace that one too. Okay. All right, let's find that one. Okay, we're going to do pain is too much for me. We're going to find that replacement to the right or to the left. And divine, uh, right? No, it's left. And it's faith, divine faith. Positive, one, two, section two. Okay, so is the replacement uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, number five. God sent me here to succeed. So we have, I connect with God at will. I deserve happiness and God sent me here to, to, yeah, to succeed. So there's three of them, right? Yep, we have three of them. All right, so let's do the downloads for these. I connect with God at will. I deserve happiness, and God sent me here to succeed. You ready? Mm -hmm. so we'll take these new beliefs. We're going to download them into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all kinds of existence, all timelines, all dimensions, just everywhere and in every single aspect of you. First, we'll take in, I connect with God at will, right? Connect with God at will, just soaking that in, owning it, becoming it, walking through your day-to-day -day knowing you have this connection and you can connect at will, okay? Whatever you want to replace the, the, the letter, the, the word God with, just taking it all in, all right? Okay, good. And now let's... Also download the I deserve happiness, right? Really holding that in, walking through day to day, week by week, just always knowing, always holding, having this with you, knowing that you deserve happiness, bringing that into every single cell. Yeah. Okay, good. And now also we want to download God sent me here to succeed. Yep. Pull that in. Hmm. That feels good. Taking that, holding that, knowing you're here to succeed. You're able to succeed. You have everything you need. You have this connection to God, to spirit, to be able to ask for inspiration, solutions. Know that it will come because you have this connection. You're here to succeed. And you deserve happiness. Happiness, success, love, all of it. All right. Ooh. Okay. Felt oh, that in my heart there. Okay, good. So, is there anything else we need to do? No. But I like to do that visual of cleaning up the bookshelf. So, why don't we do that? Right? So, we're just going to be swiping and we're just going to imagine that we're looking at this bookshelf, right? There's all these beliefs on there. We just pulled out a whole bunch of them, right? Pulled out a bunch. We put a few more in there. And now we're just straightening it all up, right? Polishing it off, dusting it off, just making room on the shelf or the shelves for all the goodness to come in, for all those experiences, all those things that will bring you this happiness, right? Knowing your connection, here to succeed. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, that felt good. So yeah, I like that. We have to go back to the body code in a second, but I just want to see how you're feeling. Good. Good. I definitely felt like, for me, I feel like it always comes through in either the head or the chest. Like I feel that lightness coming mm -hmm. out. Yeah. 
it's it's fun. <laughs> it's magical and it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so now, so we did that. We got everything we needed to get with the buoy, right? Let me put a I'm gonna put a line here. Because now we want to go back, and there may be nothing, but there might be something, right? We want to go back, and we want to find out if there's anything more that we need to do within the body code. What well, or the is there anything more we need to do with the emotion code regarding this whole issue around the acne? No. Is there something more we need to do with belief code? Is there another whole belief system that we can pick up right here, right now? No. Okay. And is there something more that we can do within the body code? Anything else we can find within the body that we need to pull out, change and shift that have to do with acne? No. So that was it. The belief code was the end of all of that. Um, all right, let me ask this question. Uh, is there some processing time? Okay, is it more than five now? So is it one? It could be three days of processing, right? Okay. And, you know, you may feel something. You may not feel some, anything at all. Okay, let me ask some other questions. So regarding this whole issue with acne, is there are there any, like, trapped emotions that could undo the work that we did? No. So we got all the trapped emotions we need regarding the whole issue. Yeah. Okay, are there any associations that were missed that could undo this whole thing? No, so we got all the associations. Okay, and we're good on the beliefs. Partial system, we got them all. Yeah, all right, so we're good to go. <laughs> Stop share, there we go. All right, so let's see what develops with all of that. Uh, let me get rid of that. Yeah, I'm excited. Yep. Um, all right. So I guess that's, it's kind of neat when you have a, a body code session and it turns into a belief code because body codes always bring in up emotions. A lot of times you, you get into this whole area with the trapped emotions. And I love it now that they included this belief code because a lot of times there are beliefs more than just like in body code, you can hit a despair anchor. That's like a single belief, but sometimes it's the whole system, like what, we're, what we pulled out today. Um, and that's just great. I, I, you know, I love all of it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for letting me record this, Adriana. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting that on YouTube. Maybe it'll help somebody else who's coming across these same type, kind of things. And uh, that's all. All right. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.